Hello guys, in this video I will be showing you how to set it up you and run basic code on it. Firstly, get your microSD card and insert it into the card reader. Plug that card reader into your PC and download the Pi Setup Wizard from their official website and install it. After installation is done, open it up and select the followings that I am selecting here and be sure to set up the host name, username and password according to your needs so that you can remember it pretty easily. Also enter your Wi-Fi details so that later we don't have to change the Wi-Fi setting to get internet access. Make sure to enable the SSH, we gonna need it later. Hit save and begin the process. It might take some time so you can do something else in the meantime. Ok, it has been done. Take out your microSD card and insert it into your Pi02W. Get its protective case and slot it inside. Oh and I was testing beforehand so I added some uh, heat sinks just in case it uh, becomes hot. Put the cover back on and get your cables which we gonna use for power, display and to add a keyboard via USB. Insert the cables as I have shown here. Also you can use a phone charger to power this. Now let's add a display to it and power it up. Remember guys, this is the first time you are powering it up. So it might take some time to set up all the required things. And when it asks for username and password, enter the username and password from before which you have set during the first time. And you should be in as the username which you have set before. Ok so after logging in, use the command sudo apt get update and then sudo apt get upgrade dash y. Why? To update and upgrade any old packages that might be there. After that, what we gonna do is make a folder called tem and change directory into that folder and create a python file named blink.py using command sudo nano blink.py. I'll not bore you explaining the blink code line by line here. It will be given in the description and you can check out the code there. But one thing to note here is that we gonna use the GPIO4 or the pin 4. But one thing to note here is that we gonna use the GPIO pin 4 and the ground pin next to it for ease of use. Like to plug an LED for our blink switch. After and after done with the coding part, we will hit Ctrl S and Ctrl X to save and exit the editor and to run the blink file by using the command python blink.py. And if everything is correct uh, to this point without any error, you will see the LEDs blinking on and off and the text appearing on the screen indicating the status of the LED accordingly. Well, that's, that's it for this video. And in the next one, we'll be seeing how to exchange data between Pi02W and Arduino over serial communication. So stay tuned for that.